are immunity bonds the next big crisis for this country? Congress is investigating in a hearing today on Capitol Hill. And joining me now in our first on Fox business interview is the subcommittee's chairman, Congressman Patrick McHenry, Republican of North Carolina. Congressman, great to have you here. And, and I have to start with this. Are you more or less concerned after this hearing today that states and muni municipalities are going to come to Congress looking for a bailout? Well, I was concerned going in, but I think uh, we now can understand that there is a, a way to deal with this, and it's honest accounting of the pension liabilities and honest accounting of the state's fiscal situation and uh, better disclosure and better transparency in the marketplace as well. So you're not as concerned, you're, you're not as concerned basically about well, this, I'm, this I'm looming issue, this, this catastrophe that's on the books here. Well, no, I mean, look, the, the reason why we had this hearing is because uh, I'm concerned about a looming crisis. And the looming crisis in, is at the state and local level because stimulus funds are running out and the states haven't had to make tough decisions over the last two years. So um, if you look at $140 billion coming from the stimulus and, and transfers from federal taxpayers to state and local taxpayers, as well as a maintenance uh, agreement saying if you increase uh, the spending with uh, stimulus dollars, you have to keep it going, going forward. I think looking at June 30, the end of most states' fiscal years, we're looking at some very perilous and challenging times okay. at the state level. Okay, well, that's fair enough, but I do have to ask you, Congressman, I mean, clearly missing from the hearing today was banking analyst Meredith Whitney. The hearing was uh, really predicated by that scathing report uh, on deteriorating state finances, and, and she had enough time to go, go on 60 Minutes in December. Why didn't she come before your committee today? No, she had a scheduling conflict, but let's be honest, this is not about any one analyst. It's about the looming crisis at the state level. We know that there's a fiscal crisis in, in our governments, both at the federal level, state and local, um, and, and it's not simply a matter of loss of revenue. It's the fact that we're spending too much and government's grown beyond our capacity to pay for it. So, it, look, it's not about an analyst. It's actually about the substance of the challenge faced at the fiscal level, uh, and, and the, the fiscal picture of the states. And so, uh, I, look, we just need to have an honest assessment about this and, and what's happening there. And there is a lack of transparency. Most bond participants, uh, bond market participants would say uh, that uh, basically uh, sophisticated investors can get, get a great deal of knowledge about uh, the ability of states and localities to pay or repay. Uh, but most average investors don't have a resource that they can turn to that has unified disclosures, so you can have an apples-to-apples -apples comparison of what's happening. Congressman, uh, I heard everything you just said. I don't want you to think I didn't hear it, but I'm curious to know, are you going to subpoena Meredith Whitney? No, we don't have any intention of doing that, no. Well, why not, uh, Congressman? It's Greg Jarrett, because uh, after all, um, she has arguably cost taxpayers in, in certain municipalities a lot of money. They've had to pull out of deals and taxpayers have to pay more on their debt. Uh, it's one analyst and one analyst's opinion. All it uh, takes Congress is one is to create a huge panic. Well, uh, okay, let, let's, let's be honest about this. Uh, let, let's just sort of be forthright about it. Uh, it's one analyst's opinion, okay, and Congress uh, shouldn't be in the position of subpoenaing somebody to say, give me your opinion. We know what her opinion is. I think that she's shared that well enough. I'm kind of interested in what we need to do going forward in terms of federal policy. What is the magnitude of the problem? Is there really a crisis? We have bond market participants that say no. We have some governors that say no. But you also see uh, credit rating agencies changing what they're saying about the unfunded liabilities of the pension plans. What we do know is that there's debate of whether or not the state pension plans are a trillion underfunded or up to three and a half trillion dollars underfunded. That, those are substantial numbers. So let's just have an honest discussion about it and sort of see where the facts lead us. That's well, Congressman, and Congressman, I mean, the analyst community is obviously on this, not just Meredith Whitney. S&P actually just, just downgraded the credit rating of New Jersey, a slight downgrade. And let me ask you this. You, you basically had academics speaking to you. Why didn't you have anybody with, as Charlie Gasparino, one of our correspondents, said, skin in the game? Why didn't you bring in some investors today to give you a real picture? Because Meredith Whitney's call did severely hurt the bond market. Well, because Congress has had no hearings about the state fiscal crisis. We've had no hearings about real action at the muni and uh, state 
bond market. We've had no discussions about the ramifications of changing disclosures or bankruptcy or bailouts at the state level. So this is the first of a series of hearings. We're going to have credit rating agencies and we're going to have a variety of, of folks that have real skin in the game, as you say. And that's going to be uh, the series of hearings we, we have. We don't have to have a, a, a full day-long series of hearings. We can talk about what the academics think and then look at, at what the participants are saying and analysts are saying. Congressman, so we're speaking of analysts, did you look at Meredith people. Whitney's report that she uh, declined to make public, only gave it uh, to some of her clients. We got our hands on it, and uh, it would appear to be uh, conspicuously absent in, in backing up justification for her call or her prediction. Uh, no, I've, I've yet to see the report. We have not had access to that. But if you'd like to share it with me, I'd be happy to take a look. Well, see, that's why you should bring her in front of you. It's not because we want her opinion. We want to know the facts upon which she based her opinion. That's the reason to subpoena her. Not for her opinion, for what, for what data she supposedly has. Or lack thereof. Well, look, I, I, I'll let that be uh, uh, debated, uh, and it will be continue, continue to be debated. And if she'd like to come in and, uh, and make known her views, I would certainly welcome that. Well, you know, she's predicting hundreds of billions in defaults, I mean, 50 to 100. And, and many analysts, uh, maybe you could have some of those come on to the committee to tell you that maybe she was uh, maybe reaching a little bit on that one. Uh, Subcommittee Chairman and Republican Congressman uh, from North Carolina, Patrick McHenry. Sir, thank you for, for your time today on Fox Business. Hey, thank you, Cheryl. Take care. All right, we're going to take a break.